Hello. Hello. Yeah. So what? So what had happened? What's tea? It happened, ho. Girl. Yeah. You ready to cut up on this line? We let's, let's about go. to. Let's go. Welcome, you guys. Welcome back to another episode here with Famous Tees. You two fabulous motherfuckers, South Floridian, Florida water, storm thumping, weather magic moving ass hoes, bitch, on the yes. south side. On the south side. And just to let you girls know, Raina Tees is available for bookings and or spell work, honey. Get your hot plate down in the description box below. We'll be leaving links. Contact us. So we're going to break down the top 10 reasons your magic ain't working. So let's get started, honey. Number <laughs> 10. You don't have a clear intent. A lot of you girls get on that altar, honey. You light these candles. And you don't even know what the fuck you're, you're casting. You don't even know what the fuck your intent is, girl. A lot of you girls want to summon a spirit and the spirit manifests, girl, and you don't even know what the fuck you're going to say to the spirit. You don't have a clear intent. How can you do spell work or ritual work without a clear intent, without a clear just understanding of what it is that you want and, 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 and a clear visualization of what it is that you want and clearly speaking it into existence and letting the spirit know exactly what you want. If you don't have that, then your magic is not going to work. So Raina, what do you think about that? Not having a clear intent. I think that's one of the most important building blocks when it comes to writing a petition. That's why it's very important that you girls take the time to write in, you know, a petition. And also, I want to dive a little deeper into this by saying intent is intent without full on understanding of the trajectory is also just, it's not going to manifest it's not going to manifest to its fullest potential. And what I mean by that is, you know, some of the girls, you know, be out there, they want their exes back. You know, they want this man back. They want this back in their life. They want to do all this. But it's like, it's just a want. It's just a wish, you know. How? In what form? How? What, what visualization do you have to hold on to as you're performing the work where you're seeing this manifest and you're seeing this, you know, take place. It's like the old saying. Oh, you, you, she just was out, you just went out for a little bit. Am I back? Hold yeah, on. you're back. Okay. Oh, see, the girls didn't want me to give the name. Did he cut out on the name? Show did. Gonna... Show <laughs> So the girls said no, no homage to her. Okay, well, um, there was a practitioner online that I used to listen to, and basically she came up with the theory of, you know, seeing yourself actualize in what it is you're trying to manifest. So if you want a car, you know, your intent has to be driving the car, you know, seeing yourself in the position of owning the car, welling up the feelings, conjuring up the feelings of you already owning the vehicle. So... That means intent. You yes. know, you can't just say, I want a car, I want a car, I want a car. I'm doing, I'm doing magic work or I'm doing a ritual to bring a car into my life or to bring a new job into my life or to bring yes. money into my life. Where is that coming from? You know, because you, you could say, oh, you, you can do ritual work to have money come into your life and just get $5. Hello? Or get a gift card. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, not, and, and, you know, gift cards, they come when they come, you know, and the spirits will sometimes align those things to you in your time of need, especially if you're working from a place of, like, scarcity, you know, you're doing this work. But you need to really have a driven, core, hardened intent yes, of yes. what it is you want. 
Jess, Jess, I completely agree with you. And it's funny that you brought up that particular spiritual worker because I know who you're talking about. And she says, you know, when I can't believe that the girl, the girl, the girl but, but you know, we don't, we don't, we don't do her, sis. So the spirit, uh, yeah, we don't do her no more, girl. We don't do Miss Christian wishes, honey. Um, and what she said, but what she said was true. And she, she also said something along the lines of when you're baking a cake. Mm -hmm. Or when you want a cake, you're not thinking about the the uh, the dough, the 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 butter, um, the toppings. You're thinking about the whole complete cake already done. Okay, that's so right. So when you want money or or something of that of that effect, think of the end result. What are you trying to get with that money? You know what I'm saying? Think about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, not what what you have to do in order to prepare. Um, the to get it, you know what I'm saying? It's thinking about the com the final result, basically, and visualizing it in first person, not outside of yourself, but use in it. Okay, like if you're seeing yourself out of your own eyes in the future with your intent manifested, that is how you have to do it. Okay, so um, are we done with number ten? Yes, we are. So the next number nine. You didn't preparatory immersion. See, a lot of you girls don't even know about this. Y'all little wishes, y'all newbies, jump into spell work, jump into working with the entity. You didn't read up on the entity. You don't even know what their sigil looks like. You haven't been calling on them for a few days. You don't know what their office is, what their powers are. You don't even know what the hell they look like. Okay, but you think just lighting a few candles and calling on an entity, you think that's enough? Preparatory immersion is one of the most important aspects of spellcasting of magic because it gets you in a psychological um, zone. It gets you into a like a like like a shifted dimension where the magic becomes more alive to you it, it's okay. kind of like 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 you are psychologically training yourself into that realm that, that matrix yes That's right yes. It, it, it's something that conditions you to kind of get in the groove of that that world that that energy so when you're doing the ritual, you're fully prepared. When you lit that first candle, you are you are on fire. Like the candle is an extension of you. That flame, you are that flame. Okay, you feel the spirit before it even gets here because it already is here. <laughs> okay, um, what do you what do you what do you think about this preparatory immersion? Well, you know, since we always drill that in any video that we talk about mm -hmm. spirits or we talk about any of these entities, we always mention preparatory immersion because, oh. you know, not only is preparatory immersion about you, but it's like when you're dealing with an entity that you are, it's like inviting a stranger to your house, you know, or, or doing business with someone that you just met. You want to do your research. You want to have an initial kind of meeting and energetic telepathic feeling to see. Because guess what? Just because, you know, uh, everybody on the forums or, or even us over here at Random Teeth, it's like, okay, you know, this spirit, this spirit, this spirit, they work with us, they like us, they they, 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 they fulfill their, their, their promises or their dues or... Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that that spirit's going to work with you. A lot of times these spirits be shunning the girls because they look at your heart and they look at your, you know, what it is that you're after and they don't deem it worthy. A lot of times, a lot of, for, for what a lot of girls want in their life is not truly for them. And, mm. and, and just because you feel that magic is going to be, oh, you know, it's just so mystical and you're going to break all barriers and all laws. You know, there are still things out here that are bigger than us. You know, and if the girls say no, then it's a no. That so a lot nice. of times you, you know, but still that doesn't mean that all avenues or all doors are closed. Just because this particular spirit doesn't want to handle the case, that's what preparatory immersion is for. Or even if you get into um, trance with the spirit and you don't feel right, you don't feel oh. that energetic alignment, or, you know, you don't feel a spirit coming through and responding, mm -hmm. 
or you're not seeing any progression with your work because spirit here's the thing like you know a, a bitch can only talk from her perspective but the girls be coming through like it, it's just so much that they show us and that they give us that it's like you just clock and all you can do is just smirk to yourself because you already know what time it is and this is doing preparatory immersion this ain't even like after the spell work okay. we're talking about like as soon as you know we're like okay, this is, I think I need this particular spirit for this particular case. And, you know, I go in with initially looking up their sigil and reading up on their office and, and reading up on their, you know, what incense or fragrance or, you know, gifts that they like. Right. They already coming through. You know, it's, it, if, it, it, if we ain't getting a dream, we're not getting, you know, somebody saying their name over here or their, their color popping up consistently. It's mm -hmm. just that's what preparatory immersion gets you ready for. It's it's yes. plugging you into that matrix. Yes. It's plugging okay. you into that um that alternate realm that's of, of possibility. Yes. So that's what I see with Miss yes. No yes. and Honey. That's and right. She's very important. Very, very important. important. For spirits and also for just spell work. Like if you want to do mm -hmm. a love spell, you gotta research. You gotta look up the herbs. You gotta look up what you can use, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you have to prepare. You can't just jump in the shit, especially you new, you new girls. Um, number eight, you didn't get in a trance. See, now this is very important, honey. This is another pillar of the magic commandments. Because <laughs> see, a lot of girls, I want to say a, a, a large majority of you girls, Y'all scared. scared. Y'all scared. Y'all scared and y'all don't get in a motherfucking trance. Y'all just light them candles and you're and you're you. You know what I'm saying? Just you regular. Just turned off the TV two minutes ago. And just light that candle and, and you're just reading from a book, just talking. Just talking to the candle, you know, with no type of like, no, girl, that's not how you do it. You have to get in a trance. You have to do your breathing, your inhalations and exhalations and feel that energy around you and call it inside you and feel the universe, feel that space around your skin and know that that is life, that you are a part of that. You have to feel that shit. You have to feel the magic. You have to, the room has to shift to a different dimension, okay? Like you just can't be you you have to be the universe manifested. When you summon a spirit, when you do an evocation, you absolutely must summon the universe inside of you. You become the universe and omnipotent and powerful that you can summon a spirit before you and tell it your will that it has to bring into fruition. You can't do that as regular Susan and Sharonda, honey, you cannot do that. <laughs> so you have to get in a trance. And that is your personal journey that you have to experience because we can tell you all day how to do it, this and this and that, but you got to sit there. And, and like Raina said, a lot of you girls are afraid. You have to sit there in your silence, honey, and feel that energy, feel that fear. And a lot, of, a lot of you girls don't want to feel that fear and don't want to work through those 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 demons y'all got on y'all because a lot of y'all got motherfucking demons. And when y'all get in that motherfucking trance, them demons start getting real loud. And y'all and y'all really? get scared. Really? So, yes. So y'all have to, a lot of y'all have to learn how to get in a trance and learn how to deal with your silence and, and your energy around you and clear that shit out. A lot of y'all need, need cleansings. Okay. Um Serena, what are you seeing with this? So, when we talk about trance and getting into trances and alternate states of being mentally, we're also talking about your ascension into godliness and confidence. You know, you cannot go in here with no shaky fear. You can't go commanding or calling upon a spirit that you're scared of. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't, you can't manifest. Power does not coddle. Okay? 
power does not embrace the weak. It does not give mercy. It did, you know, magic isn't mercy, uh, a genie wish being granted because you're just so sad and so poor and so, you know, oh, just please just make it happen for me. No, that's not how magic works. You got to go in that motherfucker like, bitch, my shit done got shut down, my motherfucking power off. Like, bitch, I need a way right now. Yes. Yes. I need the doors open right now. Yes. Send me a motherfucker in this bitch now who's going to come shift this. You know, you have to go in there with a unrelenting will, an unrelenting force to have your will manifested. Nothing nothing can stand in your way. And when you start, if you, you get in a trance, you start hearing those doubtful voices, or you start becoming afraid, you got to push motherfuckers through. You know what we had to do? We had to sit in the dark, okay? And tell a motherfucker, J- come, come whoop me. Come whoop me. Whoop me. If you out there, me. you talking all this loud, where you at? Make something, th- shift something through the, throw something across the room, That's bitch. Right. Give me poster That's right. That's right. Give me. You gonna have to, you, <laughs> you gonna have to motherfucking jump and you gonna have to Knock my whole spirit out my body Hello. and take Hello. over and possess me, bitch, because you're not going to stop nothing. Okay, listen. And listen. that's the type of attitude that you need to have yes. when you go yes. into this, that nothing, I mean, you cannot go into this with fear and expect the universe to bend mm. to your will. Reality to bend to your will, to, for a spirit to bend to your will. Mm. And this isn't about, you know, going in and being disrespectful or anything like that to the spirits because another thing we talk about too is, you know, these spirits are conscientious beings. So, you know, there is um, etiquettes and there is, you know, pleasantries and there is, but, you know, you can't be there thinking that, oh, you're lesser than or you just, right. oh, shit, like something's going to jump out the shadows and get yeah. me or, you know, am I going to be cursed or haunted? Right. Is the spirit going to be haunting my house? Okay. No. No. You got to be ready to throw up, honey. Hello. Hello. If it does go sideways, you got to be ready to fight. Fight. And get the spirit out and know how to do that shit. And you have to be ready for it. Like, you're never gonna be ready until it happens. And you have to know how to fucking just do it, girl. You have to be ready for it. Like, fear never fear never held me back. Like, trust me, in the beginning, like, when I did my first evocation, my heart was beating out of my chest. Mm-hmm. But that fear, why did I have it? Because I knew this shit was real. And because, because the spirit came to me in a, like, like we talked about earlier, came in a lucid freaking sleep paralysis okay days before i even summoned them okay so y- y'all got that that belly off video look it up honey um so yes so are we are we good with um number eight i believe so okay so the next one is number seven you didn't burn the sigil <laughs> this is another one okay and i'm speaking from experience see something just click oh the girls are going in honey in this room <laughs> it's, just, it's just like tell them calm down girl we get to so we don't get yeah. through all the points the spirits are making noises and you know in that kobe video like there is audible like they could hear like the synchronicities like three times have happened in there like i just kept on clocking like um things was ringing when i said his name like things was like popping and that's you could hear it from the phone okay mm-hmm. so um so yes, so uh, number seven, you didn't burn the sigil. From experience, that is very important. And a lot of people don't know that because books do not say that, okay? I haven't read one book that says that you have to burn the sigil in order for mm-hmm. it to manifest. Or if you don't burn the sigil, something's gonna happen. Something fucked up might happen, okay? Um, and a lot of times, the spell work will not take off until you burn that sigil. You have to release that. Okay. Sometimes, but, but it depends on the spirit because for some spirits, they want you to hold on to it for like a couple of weeks or whatever and then burn it. But some spirits, they want you to burn that shit like right after the, the, the spell. So you have to know through 
hello, being a motherfucking psychic and connecting with these spirits and getting into your trance to know what the spirit wants. Uh -huh. so, but regardless of the fact, that sigil has to burn. Okay, you cannot let a sigil just sit around because the magic will unwind and undo itself and go haywire and cause uh -huh. disturbances in your house, will cause shit to fucking break, to shatter, um, accidents to happen, all type of stuff that you do not want. Um, so y'all have to burn the sigil. Um, what do you see with this, Reyna? I also feel like this um, goes true to magical instruments and, you know, candles and anything. You know, you can't leave magic unattended in your house. You know, you can't leave portals and nexuses. And, and this is why we tell you girls about these altars and stuff. You know, these girls that be posting their little altars and stuff. Those are nexuses. You know, those are feeding grounds for spirits. And, you know, you have to constantly upkeep with that. It's like having, you know, it's like having some stray cats. You put it out a bowl of food and the stray cats come or whatever. Yeah, girl, you feeding the cats, but they shitting all over the place. They, they leaving feces and, and, and um, ringworms and all type of other shit in the dirt. So it's like you have to upkeep. You know, you have to upkeep and maintain because the spiritual realm, it's not la di da You know, it's not... Everything is not in order. There is discord that exists on the spiritual realm as well. So it's like, you know, you charging this, you working with this, you doing this sigil, or even if you crafting your own sigil, or even if you are, you got a jar, or, or you know, you have to get rid of that stuff. You holding on to your man underwear with blood in it. You got to get rid of that stuff, girl. You got you to gotta get rid of that stuff. You cannot hold on to that stuff because, you know, magic will unravel and unwind itself and cause havoc. Mm -hmm. So, you know, take it from the bitches who done been there. Hello. Because a lot of y'all too scared to go through it. So let's move on to number six. Six. You want results too soon. Now, Raina, oh, I'm going to let you get this one. Let you girl. Get this one. <laughs> girl, let me tell you. And this, is, this, is, this isn't even about wanting it too soon, but it's about you girls who, like you guys said in another video, baby sits of magic. Oh, my gosh. You just sit there and you're watching and days and weeks and hours and just waiting. And it's like, okay, yes, girl, you're going to get your synchronicity. Yes, girl, you're going to um, hear his name over the radio a dozen times. And you're going to feel him thinking about you. And you're going to experience going out and meeting someone who possibly knows him that, that saw him or this and this and that. But it's like you still have to be grounded in your sense of unrelenting faith and perseverance of self that whatever it is that you put in for is going to manifest. And this is another thing too, what I said, get into what I say, perseverance of self. Because a lot of you girls, you know, you get into, you go to root workers or, or workers, spiritual workers, you get work done. You go over here, you go over there, you do the work yourself or whatever, and then you just you just literally like turn into the hangman, you know, in tarot, the hangman, you're just in suspension in your own life waiting for the magic to manifest. You know, you just, you can't function, you can't move, you can't, you're not even enjoying your own life, you're not getting out there doing things, making new opportunities for yourself, meeting new people, doing breaking away from your cycle routine of going to work, going to the grocery store and coming home. You know, you cannot sit there wanting results too soon in this. You know, magic is like a seed. It is like a seed and anything in this world, everything that has come to be in this third dimensional realm has come to be over time eons upon eons i know honey that this tech that you know this this age of aquarius bitch with all this technology and all this fast flying information and uh, everything at our fingertips i know it's made us impatient i know it's made us very um 
what's the word that I'm looking for when you are bitch just everything's just convenient you know you, you, you look it up it's there you know you want a picture you want humor you want YouTube you want videos you want this you want that download it bitch there it is so it's like literally you know I was downloading the app the other day on my phone and I was just like they're like the, the app was taking so long I'm like when are we gonna get to the point that this is just like boom just instant 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 transfer right. but things take time and especially with magic yeah. Especially with magic, because the bloom has to breach the soil, mm -hmm. stretch up into its stem, and then bud, and then give you pollination, okay? So, and that's not going to happen with you constantly digging in the dirt to look at the seed, is it still there, or did it sprout, or you putting more water, or you taking away more, the no, you have to leave it alone. Hello. <laughs> go in this take this girl what do you mean, do key, this? i'm like you said it all girl you I said mean, it all girl it's like it's, it's true you know, absolutely absolutely they don't want to wait girl they want an instant that's just no no you girls have to wait period and you have to remember that magic is a primordial science yes. she's not She's not um, man-made um, cell phone, instant download, and Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. It's, bitch, magic takes time, it's like the universe time. took time, bitch, to birth. Hello. Oh. Hello. And that's important that you said that because magic has to move every single fucking molecule in Everything. existence right now to shift reality to what you want in your fucking bubble in your world okay that is what motherfucking magic is did you hoes know that i don't think so on to the next <laughs> <laughs> number five you're not paying attention to synchronicity and that, mm. that's very important. Like synchronicities is something that if you pay attention to will only boost the energy behind the spell work, will only make it manifest even faster. Like there was one. <laughs> Mind you, wait, hold on, girl. I hope you, bitch, let me tell it real quick. So, girl, we had a session and she was like, oh, I just got this book. The dude, the dude had put her on a restraining order, yes. didn't want to deal with this bitch, told her, like, if he see her, he's calling the cops. Only because this girl, you know, they had had a little argument at his house, and she didn't want to leave. She, she was just like, well, you know, we're going to talk this thing out, and I'm not leaving until we talk this out. He ended up calling the police on her ass and getting her ass escorted out. Mind you, okay, he can bang your walls down. But when you want to talk, you got to go or this the police being called. So that right there, but that's a whole nother video. But when she came to us, and she was like, Raymond, you know, I want him back. You know, I, I want this thing to go away. Da, 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 da. This girl had all these synchronicities. She ended up running into the guy like randomly on the street you know she didn't call him or nothing she didn't say meet up with me or nothing she ran into him randomly on the street they discussed you know him taking away the restraining order like he was gonna remove it or whatever he was like you know but you can't be doing shit like that like showing up at my house and then saying you're gonna stay and not leave when i want you to or whatever and we can do away with it but just because this nigga wasn't like banging down her door and blowing the person like, oh my god, I want to be back together and uh, can we be boyfriend and girlfriend again? She's like, Raina, where is the magic? <laughs> Raina, where is, you know, when is he coming back? I don't see the magic. Like, what's happening? And we're just like, girl, all this shit that this is going on, you done ran into this man you know, this man saying he want to see you again. He's okay with putting a restraining order to the side. He's okay with y'all taking it slow again. What are you missing? Mm -hmm. We had another client. Same thing. 
and you know the guy ended up going to take her out or whatever the guy they had to talk for a while it's been years since they spoke and then they just recently went out on a date Raina where is the magic and it's like what do you know that it's the biggest slap in the face of not only your spiritual worker but the spirit in and of itself you have to recognize the synchronicities. If it, even, if it, even if it's in your own magic, that is confirmation between you and spirit yes. that they are re recognizing and uh, respecting your wishes and what it is that you ask for. You have to see those things. Yes. So what are you... I'm sorry to cut you off this, but I just had to... No, no, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Synchronicities are so important. Even during spell work, when you're doing it, like in, in the actual ritual, you have to pay attention to your environment. There will be things that are going to be happening around you that the spirit is using to communicate with you. Synchronicities okay. are the spirit communicating to you. So you, I mean, if you're not paying attention, then how are you going to know that, it, that it's working? All you're going to do is doubt yourself because you're not paying attention. Because you're not looking at things and seeing it past the mundane. You have to look deeper at everything that's moving around you. Every single sound, every single movement, okay? It's all being orchestrated by the universe. And uh -huh. as a magician, as a witch, you are a... Is it the orchestrator, the, the person with, you know, I, I'm in the concerts, like the man has like the two little sticks or whatever, he's guiding the 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 the... the the, the, the musicians to perform. You are that instrument man. You are the person giving them what to do, basically. So you, like, you have to pay attention. That's right. Okay? You can't be just ignorant and blind and just not seeing. Like, oh, I'm not seeing anything. It's right there. If you just pay attention, okay? And you have to res not only just see it, but acknowledge yes. and respect that's it. And know that it is magic, that it is the spirits. It is your will that is being brought forth, okay? The universe is shifting those molecules as we speak. So you knowing that adds power to it. So that is very important. Now, the next one, which is number four. Okay. You're running your mouth to everyone about the magic. Girl. That's for a lot of you wish queens. A lot of you wish queens, y'all over here doing the magic live, right? Literally live. Y'all doing the magic live. Got the shit on Instagram. Over here posting a story with, 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 the, with the whole ritual. Over here letting the whole world know what you're doing. The whole intent. You're right, a whole seven, seven, like seven paragraphs on Instagram telling them what you're doing, who you're doing it for, why you're doing it. And then you're over here wondering why the shit ain't working. Or you over here, well, I just did a ritual and I had to post a whole two paragraphs on Facebook talking about how powerful you are and how you're over here doing rituals and stuff and why you're doing it. Or you're over here calling all your friends or even telling your family members or whoever, oh, I just did a ritual. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to get my man back, all of this. Like, no. Or even telling your coworkers, like, who are you trying to prove? Who are you trying to, like, prove that, you know, like, to me, that's insecurity. If you have to run your that's mouth right. to everybody about magic, you want the world to acknowledge you as a witch. Like, you haven't even acknowledged yourself mm. as a witch. Okay, because magic is supposed to be done in secrecy. They call it the occult for a reason. The occult, honey. Okay, it's to be done in, in, in privacy. It's to be done, yeah, like there, it, it needs its space. It needs its sacred space. And how can you do that when you got 700 people watching you and you're over here worried about the angle? And over here, you know, more focused on the flowers and the fucking statue and, 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 and the fucking apples and shit and, and, and the damn pentagram and all of that motherfucking shit. Shit that doesn't even fucking matter. So it's like, yeah, y'all just are too excited to tell the world that you're doing magic, that you're casting spells. 
You got to keep that shit to yourself. The spirits, they require silence about this working. Now, if you, like Raina T's honey, been doing this for years, like we talk about our work after it has manifested. Manifested. After it's done, sure, you can, you know, you know, little brag a little bit, whatever, make a little video, whatever about your experience, but never talk about the spell work to the public, to people before you do it or while you're doing it. Wait until it has manifested before you run your fucking mouth. Cause I know you I know you can't fucking wait. Just tell people, girl. No, you already told everybody. That's that's the tea. That's why you're here. Okay, so it's like yeah, the spirits, they want privacy. They want to work in silence. When the, when, the, when the universe is shifting, it's not doing it screaming, honey. So, Raina, what are you seeing with this? I think you hit on everything with this point. Um, I just would like to add something that you brought up about the insecurity. And, you know, it's, it's like a lot of people nowadays, they want to be recognized so much they want to be recognized so much and I get it you know like magic is a very empowering practice you know when Raina tees we over here we but a lot of times let me tell you you know when we come and we give you girls spiritual feedback you know we work with the spirit and we're giving a video on the spirit and the work that we did and how it manifested that's what we promised the spirit in return for their working okay it's not like we just are like, oh, well, we, we did this, we did that, whatever the case may be. Now, when we hit that hurricane, bitch, <laughs> who was that that tried to come over here, bitch, and try us, bitch, and we said, no, ma'am, this last year. And this year, too, hoes, we stopping all the girls. Let it be said. So, but who was that last year? What was that? It was like three of them hoes that was coming for us, and we were like, bitch, okay. no, ma'am. Yes. Um, that video, we said, because we were in a bit of a period where the girls were kind of making videos, other spiritualists were making videos, like, oh, you know, it's some of these girls that they fake and they fly out here, and we was like, bitch, not praying a team. Not so we was just like, and this universe put that obstacle right in our face so we can say, bitch, hand block, honey, <laughs> you will not come. Uh... And then be, let that be our testament. So that, you know, in and of itself was like, it was the necessary timing yeah. to come back and, and reiterate on what that whole thing was about. And it was an accomplishment. It's a very powerful accomplishment. I don't know no other bitches that stop in natural disasters and where they from. Okay. They don't Let know. us know in the comment. Let us know down in the comment section. Okay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we can move on to the next right. one. Honey. So number three is not applying yourself in the in the mundane to open the door for the magic. Now what I mean this by is so that, important. Yes. Now what I mean by that is if you do a spell or a ritual or you evoke a spirit to let's say get a job or to make money, you can't just do that ritual and just sit at home and, and, and not look online, not apply yourself and going to job fairs not working on your resume. Uh -huh. You know, you have to apply yourself in the physical realm. Even, even, even let's say, um, with, with love, like if you want to meet somebody or you, um, want a new love, you know, I mean, I, I know a lot of y'all want your ex back, but there are people who want to meet somebody new. You can't do that. But even, mm -hmm. but I don't mean to cut you off, but See, <laughs> I don't mean to cut you off, go ahead, go ahead. but even when you want your ex back, it takes work on your part because the reason y'all broke up is the reason they're staying away from you. So why would you yes. want to come back as a, un, you know, as that same old outdated version of yourself? Right. You want to work on yourself to show them a new, better, improved, livelier, happier, fit version of yourself so everything takes work new love old old love you know new job old job 
promotion. But go ahead, sis. Yes, take take her away. No, you were you were you were getting her. Yeah, <laughs> but I it does, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. So it takes it, 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 it. applying yourself in the mundane, it comes across all avenues. You have to. You have to put in work. Yes, mundane yeah, work, and you have to change your mindset, and not only that, your perspective and your outlook and. What you say about yourself, too. You know, in the mundane, the mind is a part of the mundane as well. So you can't be over here this sad, pathetic-ass bitch, a needy-ass, clingy-ass bitch, and then expect, you know, somebody to value you as the prize. You know, do you value yourself? Do you feel you yourself are deserving of, you know, being paid $50,000 or more well, shit, that's low, but you know, like $60,000, bitch, $70,000 a year. Are you presenting yourself like that? Have you put in the work? Are you putting in the research and what it takes to get there instead instead of just being wish, wish, wishful? What are you doing on the, on the mundane plan to elevate you and align you with that? You will reach your potential. You will reach the spells that you, or the rituals, or the workings, or whatever you want to call it, you will reach that 10 times faster if you um, apply yourself. Because it's like a double whammy. It's a win-win. You know, you're, you're, do- you're going out there, you're putting, in the, you're putting out your resumes. You know, you're going out there, you're hitting the gym, bitch. You, you, you're focusing on your looks and your well-being and your hygiene and sprucing yourself up and your, your health, your eating habits. You know, you cleansing. It's just like Miss Universe is going to bust that pussy wide open and just spray all her nectar on you, honey, and just bless you. Just give you all her tea. So that's what I'm seeing with that one, sis. Absolutely. Do you have anything? I don't know. We'll move on to the next. Number two, using a book during spell work slash distracted. This is for That's you no, new no. queens, for you new queens, <laughs> and for you wishes. Because <laughs> a lot of you girls are armchair magician, honey, book magicians. You girls are still, you know, um, you think that a book means something. You think that a book, that owning books makes you a witch. Okay, just having like a stack of 20 over there, that doesn't mean <laughs> you're a witch. I just make you a witch, honey, it makes you a witch. <laughs> Okay, what works is sit in your ass over there where I'm pointing at, girl. <laughs> sit in your ass over there, bitch, and getting into it with them fucking spirits. That invisible point, bitch, that point. Okay, <laughs> that point. <laughs> Get your okay. ass on the flow. Get your ass on the flow. Stop looking back and forth on your phone and your books. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making up excuses on why you can't do the work because you ain't got this, that herb in the fourth, or that candle, or that statue, or that, you know, these books, you know, books are just to give you theory. You know how many times we have read books and it's like, we take, it's like, okay, we can apply that, we can add that, we can tweak that. We don't, we don't follow, bitch, I ain't never follow a book verbatim to do any work. I never follow any book verbatim. I might have gotten, okay, that that's the um, the right herbs to use, the right incense, this spirit is attracted to this, you know, maybe stay away from that, um, a precursor, you know, things of that nature. But, you know, I just never, I've just always been the type to want to kind of go by my own measuring cup. And it, it's, a, it's a pro and a con, you know, because for some people, Yes, girl, following it verbatim, it might work out completely how you want it to. But I feel like it can also be a limitation as Mm -hmm, well. mm -hmm. So, (laughs) get your ass on that flow, honey, and get out them books. Get out them books. And experience. Get that life experience, that magical experience. Yeah, you gotta get that experience. You gotta get that experience. The books, 
Yeah, it's a no no. Let that shit go. You can't be looking up and down. You eat like you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you can't be looking at this book and over here just reading from the fucking book and not in the zone. Okay? Like let it go. You have to go with your feelings, with what you want, honey. That intent. That is all you need, is that intent, honey. Okay? Carry that, girl, when you go into that ritual. You can't be looking down at this book. Like, them incantations, they don't matter. They really don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> in, that, in that language you can't read, girl, that should honestly right. fucking matter. Girl, you think it's just because you're, you're speaking Celtic Latin, honey, that the girls are just coming even more faster? <laughs> no. No. Yikes. They're not. That's why I missed. What's her name? The the the, the fake witch we read the other other um the other week. That's why her magic can't pull through because she's over here reading from a book and and being skeptical as hell. Like yeah. not being a real you know active participant in her own spiritual work. Just doing it for the experimentation and to see like if something's going to be proven to her magic doesn't have to, magic is real honey it doesn't have to prove anything to okay. anyone okay these spirits are here honey they have they have yes. their office yes. <laughs> they have their legions Hello. honey they have their, their their they have their they're sitting you know it's like what do they have to do parlor tricks for to prove to humans yeah no. Yeah. So get out the book. Get out the book. Get out the book and get <laughs> get in that motherfucker out to bitch. Get on the flow. Get on the flow. And do the shit. And you don't need a circle, sis. You don't You, you don't even circle. need a circle. That's cute, you know, you wanna you wanna do it or whatever, but she's not necessary. Okay. Now the final, the number one reason that your magic is not working is because uh -oh. you don't believe in yourself. Um, okay, that is the number one reason, girl. And that goes once again for you, wish girls. Um, yeah, like if you're gonna be doubting yourself, if you're going to be in the ritual, mind you, mid-ritual, this, this isn't going to work. What the fuck am I doing? I'm not a real witch. Like, what? what? You know what I'm saying? Like, you sabotage yourself. And you're doing this on purpose. You're doing it subconsciously on purpose. And even consciously a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Because you do not believe in yourself. You don't believe this is, this is real. You kind of got into it because of Instagram or, you know, cause you, you think you want to be different. You want to be other, you want to be trendy, but you have to realize that this is something that is real. Okay. When you get in that altar, honey, and you get in that trance and then spirits start knocking uh -huh. and, and your intent manifests, there is no doubting. Okay, so and even that, and I want to touch on this too because Spirit said this to me too to tell you girls, even that in between phase, you know, Spirit is going to challenge you. You know, life is not easy, and, and magic, magic isn't easy either. Okay, it's a practice, it's a study, and with practice and with continuous pursuit and understanding and experimentation of seeing what works and what doesn't work and research, yes, because we're not knocking the books entirely, but we're just saying don't be codependent on books. But in all of that, you know, there's still going to be strife. And I like what you touched on too when you said subconsciously or consciously because consciously you can go and if you're doing ritual work to bring your ex back, but yeah, you're going, looking, and lurking, and stalking their page, and looking at the new bitches that they're fucking, and feeling discouraged, and feeling like, see, I did this work to bring him back, but yeah, he put a whole other bitch, and now my magic not going to work no more because he's over here. You cannot be doing that, okay? Yeah. 
when the motherfucker don't call you back after you know y'all done met up or whatever the case may be, you can't automatically default into oh well you know the magic's not working no more because you know we went out one time and he's not calling me back no more. It's like oh my god, like calm the fuck down. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. Let it go. You know, let that doubt go. Don't don't get into that yes. because it comes and it's only meant to distract you and bring you back. Hello. Bring you back and make you doubt your intentions or your work. Or even if you're doing for a job and you know you see the perfect dream you, you're doing it for your dream job, you put all the specifications and everything like that, and then you see your dream job just pop up magically, you get a call back, you get the interview and then you don't get the job. And then you're like, oh, I did all this work. This was like a perfect job for me. And I put in the store work and it didn't happen. Oh my God, my magic's not working. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. Maybe the universe was showing you that job. Okay, that it heard exactly what you want. But there are other steps that need to go into play for you to get the next to the next place. What if that job would have had a mean ass motherfucking boss who was a motherfucking sexual pervert? you know, or just a narcissist, or just abusive, and would have been working you hand, tail, finger, and bone, and yeah, you would have had a nice title, but you would have been miserable the entire time working there. What if this other place that you you ran into right after that is the perfect dream job for you, you know? It may not be, you know, ideally what you listed, but you go in there, the atmosphere is nice, you know how to pick up the work, You, you there's growth within the company, you know, your boss uh, cherishes you, like, you can't always think the worst just because you don't exactly get your way. Sometimes miracles manifest in ways that you may not quite see, grasp, or understand, but it's still for you. Okay? So when you don't get your way, you know, or the magic, it it, it turns out or manifests in a different way, or if you feel like you're getting half of the pie, you haven't gotten the whole pie, don't be discouraged. Don't doubt yourself. Don't go into panic overdrive mode of, oh my God, it's not working, bitch. I done did this and he's not calling me back now. Oh my God. Like, no. That's not bad bitch energy. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. We only fuck with the bad bitch energy over here. You know what I'm saying? You have to be a bad witch bitch at that altar. That's the only way this shit is going to work. You got to know you're the baddest. You got to believe in yourself. You have to. You have to know. You have to know, bitch. That's how you know, girl. Like, when you over here have your life at risk, girl, when the girls are coming to you, when the girls are about to get you out your house, honey, when the girls are about to, bitch, fire you, when the girls are about to, Girl, do whatever. The only thing you have is that, is that magic and knowing and believing. You have no other choice. You have no other choice but to believe in this shit. See, like a lot of y'all ain't been put through the fire. A lot of y'all ain't been put with your back against the wall. That is either you or I don't even, bitch, there's no other option, girl. You don't, you don't even know, bitch. And that's why you're doing it, bitch, because I need this to be how I want it. I don't want, you know, other outside sources to take what I have or come for me. You know what I'm saying? And that is where the magic manifests is you going in and believing in yourself and knowing. Because that, there's no other option. There's no, yeah, there's other, no other way. Option. Yeah, like a lot of y'all still playing with it. You haven't been put through the fire. And listen, the most powerful magicians, the, the, ooh, y'all heard that? Mm-hmm. I know y'all heard that, that horn honk. Um, the, <laughs> the most powerful witches, magicians out here have been through it, honey, have, have been through the fire spiritually, have, have went through it. Have we have stories like we we we've been you know what I'm saying we've overcome, okay, like you girls. It's like the picture that that um 
that for one of the videos that the person jumped in the water and, I, and all you see is the, their foot like, I <laughs> like <laughs> see like that's all I'm saying hey. <laughs> see like a lot of y'all are scared of that like when the spirit snatch it bitch I'm over here deep diving I'm a hundred feet in it okay like I know how to breathe I am in the water bitch I've become yes. one with the water okay bitch. A lot of y'all still trying to be, a lot of y'all want to be on that bridge and just tippy toe or just not even put your toe in it. Just be kind of like above it. A lot of y'all think y'all above it. No, you have to get in the shit. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, girl. I don't know what else. I think this was a really decent touch on, really good touch on video. Yes. You know, to remind the girls where their mindset needs to be at, where their priorities yes need to be at when doing this magic honey because it's not out here to be showboating mm -hmm. it's not out here to be over here you know getting approval from forms on facebook and groups and motherfucking you know clans and all that other shit okay because yeah a lot of a lot of times these hoes just as weak as you ain't pulling no real motherfucking magic and scared as fuck to really get into the deep shit okay you know it's you gotta be, it's a solitary path, I'm sorry. Yes, it's nice to link up and communicate with other people that, you know, do magic and are into spirituality and their experiences and things like that, but it's it's really a solitary path. The spirit is not gonna be over here communicating with a whole group of y'all. I mean, and if they are, then it's gonna be done in a very different manner. Not everyone's experience is gonna be the same. Yeah. And it's going to conflict. It's going to come. Yeah. Um, because some girls can't take that. They can't take a bitch who's different. You know what I'm saying? They want you to be like them. Right. Right. So it's like, you have to be okay being solitary at times. I'm not saying if for every witch, solitary road or solitary practitioner is the way to be but you know but, that's but you what have makes, to know how to do spells your, your, yourself too now you can't just be like oh i just i can only do it with with somebody it, you know you have to know how to be getting the ringer honey yourself that's right okay that's right that's the only way that you're gonna do it and be successful so that's pretty much it you guys anything else you want to say right now yeah, check out the Honey Rain of Tea yeah. Big Cartel. If you guys are looking for spell work and or readings, and you get your readings, get your clock plate, yes. queen, get your spell box kit custom made, tailored to your situation, honey, and get your two badass motherfucking witches, undoubted, unrelenting assholes to get on your case. And get you your situation to come through, girl, if you don't feel you have it. Okay? So check that out. The link will be listed down in the description box below. And we will see you guys in the next one.